Okay. So we got major scales and key signatures 2B. So what we got here, we got the first one, number one. Up at the top here you see it says the order of sharps and the order of flats. That's what you should constantly look at when you're looking at these, okay? So the first one, what do we got here? What scale is that? A flat. A flat, right. Okay. So what do we got? What do we got? Right? Fill it up. A flat, and then go B, C, D, E, F, G, A, right? Okay, now, help me out here, Ozzy. A flat to B, how far is that? Where's your chromatic number line? You need it. Have it out when you start class. A flat to B. Isn't it to B flat? Well, this is what it is right now. So what do we got to do? Change it to flat, right? Why? Because it's a whole step. Right. Get a whole step. It's B flat, then what? Then it's uh, C flat, right? C flat? Yeah. Two people said yes? Yes. Three people said yes? Well, if you look at your chromatic number line, which you should have memorized by now, is the order wrong? Is it wrong? Um, All those wrong? So wrong? I thought it's C flat, then C. B yeah. flat to C is a whole step, right? Yeah. And then so the next one is D flat, right? Okay, now we want a half step here, right? So what do we want? D flat. D flat. Okay, then what? We want a whole step, right? D flat. Pause it. That's D flat right there. We want a whole step above D flat. What note is that? E flat. Good. Now, we want a whole step above that. F. Right. Then we want what? G flat. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, G, F. Whole step. Oh, whole step. Uh, G. G, right. <laughs> and we want a half step, right? A flat. Right. So, how many flats does this key signature have? Next one. E flat. E flat. Next one. A flat. A flat. D flat is the next one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So how many flats we got? One, two, three, four. Same one as the first one, right? Yes. Okay. So four flats. One, two, three, four flats. We got B flat, E flat, A flat. D flat. This is the first flat, second, third, and fourth flat, right? So, what was the other rule? The second to last flat, up, 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 the second to last flat is the key, right? Mm -hmm. 
well, that's the second to the last flat. So it's A flat is the key. Does that make any sense? Yes. All right. Got it. Nice enough. Fill out your sheet. Okay, so what's the next key? D. D. Okay, so a little big. Okay, so what do I do, Ozzy? You do the letters first. Yes. Alphabetical order. Okay, so now we want the notes, right? So we just go space, line, space, line. Space, line, space, line. All right? Now we add the whole steps and half steps, right? Now get out your chromatic number lines and analyze it. What do we got? That's right. That's wrong. That's wrong, correct. So we want to make that F sharp, right? Mm -hmm. What's the next one? Well, that's already a half step, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, G to A. That's right. Okay, A to B. That's right. B to C. That's wrong. Good. C sharp, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the key signature? It's two sharps, right? Yeah, and what's the order of the sharps? Remember the saying? Uh, Fat, cats, Give dogs an endless path. Okay, so we got F, C, G, D, A, E, B. So it's the order of the sharps. So if it has one sharp, it's got an F sharp in it. If it's got two sharps, it's got C sharp, three sharps. So if it has two sharps, what sharps are they going to be? Yeah. The first two. So we put them in that order too, F and C. That's the key of D. Got all that? Yeah? Are you feeling good? No? You got it, Donovan? Yeah. So the next one, gonna be number three, what do we got? So the name of the scale is just D major. D major, right. Okay, the whole thing is, uh, it's all based around that circle of fifths. Remember we talked about the circle of fifths and fourths? So that's our system of organizing scales. So all this stuff is a prerequisite to learning how to play in key. All right? If I go over the piano here, I'm in D. I know that there's an F sharp and a C sharp, I'm going to go D, F sharp, D, A, D, C sharp, D. So anything I play in that key, it's going to contain all the notes of that scale. So if I play a chord, I can take three notes out of the scale. I'm using notes out of the 
scale to make the chords. That's how it all works. So you got to know that these scales are really important to know, and that's why we have sharps and flats. Three, huh? Yeah. One, two, three, or four? We do three. Three? Yeah. Okay. Who wants to come and write it down? Let's try it. He's ready. That's half, halfway volunteer. <laughs> of course. Just like the 1789 revolution I was telling that guy about. Yeah, you have to cut off people. Okay. Sorry for the frustrated with you guys a little bit. I want to get through this stuff. I'm going to get a lot of stuff. to G sharp, that's the whole step, right? Yeah. Okay, so you got a whole step there. G sharp to A sharp is a whole step. A sharp to B is a half step, that's good. That's our lower tetra chord, right? And we want a whole step link. So B to C sharp, that's correct. C sharp to G sharp to D sharp, that's correct. D sharp to E sharp, that's correct. And then, okay, so we got E sharp to F sharp is a half step. E sharp, if you look on the number line, is F, right? So F plus one half step is F sharp, right? So it just goes E sharp, which is F, and then it goes F sharp. That's the same note. Okay. Good job. So what are the key signature? Huh? Uh, you and your famous treble clefs that look like a race car. <laughs> You're doing it backwards, though. Draw the line first, straight up and down. This line, now start the top. Up the top what? Up, above it. Come back this way. There you go. That's how you do it. Oh. So oh. first, first sharp, second sharp is C. If that cats, give G up high. Right. Above the line, on the space. Right. The top line's F, right? So the space above. There you go. G. Fat cats give dogs, right? Good. And with A or A sharp. Then you want an endless. I would do it up higher. It was two, three, and two. So up here first. Now that's a G. Spaces are what? Oh yeah. There you go. So that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the key signature. Why wouldn't you do that, don't they? It, well, it just looks they started doing that system about a year 1150 and since then it's been a few years <laughs> like from 1150 to 1950 Sorry. is how many years that's a lot. I don't know. 800 years so 850 and 863 years they've been doing it. yeah what's half what's what e sharp equals f F, e sharp equals F plus F plus a half step equals F sharp. F plus a half step. Here's F. 
So E sharp equals F sharp? E sharp equals F. Oh, okay. Plus a half step equals F sharp. Oh, okay. Got it. Like that. Right? Is the number line? E, F, F sharp, G, right? Here's uh, D sharp and D, right? So this is a half step, E and F, right? So F flat would be here and E sharp would be here. But there's really not any F sharp or E. There's really no F flat or E sharp key on the piano, so we have to call the note F E sharp. Because if you look on the piano, it looks like this, right? So we got C, or F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, right? So here's black keys, right? So if you've got the note E right here, and you got the note F right here, right? There's no black key in between, right? So E sharp would be that note there. It would be F. It would be F. So this would be E sharp. Likewise, if you go down one, F flat would be the white key as well. Does that make any sense? Yeah? All right, keep talking. Okay, so that was four. All right. That's three. Let's do one more. Number four. So what note is that? A. A. B flat. B flat, right? Why? Because this is C, right? This is middle C. So above C here is going to be D, right? And if you go below C, it's going to be B, right? So B is right below the line. And if you put a flat, it's B flat. Does that make any sense? Okay, E flat. Now you just go space, line, space, line, space, line, space, line, right? Okay. Do you really want to finish the slot? You can do it quick. Step, yeah. So if you do these steps, you get to the point where you don't have to write in the whole step, whole step, half step thing anymore. Where you just know that's whole step, whole step, half step, right? And you analyze, right? You flat the C is all step, right? E flat, correct. Key signature. So, remember the order? 
by eight all day to get cold feet. Remember that? So the first one's going to be what? B. Right there. That's A. First one on uh, time signatures, three, four. Do you have this one? So we got three, four. So what does that mean? Beats. What kind of note gets one beat? Quarter note. So if you have bars here like this, we got it. What's happening here is you've got a beat of three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Each one of these lines is a measure line or a bar line. So in between we got three beats in each one, right? <clears throat> so we count one, two, three, because those are quarter notes. Now this one's an unusual one. This is a half note. Half note is always the hollow football with the stem. It always gets two beats. But this is a, a bar that has three beats in it. One, two, three. So wouldn't we just go one, two, stop and rest on three? We don't because it has this little thing here called a dot. Dotted half note has a dot there. So the dot extends it a little bit. So instead of going one, two, three, we count one, but instead of counting two, we count one, two, three. So here's how the dot works. You get this done? Yeah? Half. What does that mean? Half a beat. Half of the 
know. So, let me explain. If we have a note over here that's a whole note, that gets four beats, right? So a whole note is just a football with a hollow football with no stem, right? So that gets four beats. So what's half of that would be two beats, right? So a whole note with a dot is this much plus two more, because that's half, right? So a dotted whole note gets six beats. Because it's four plus half of four. Okay? So if we have a half note, that gets one, that gets two beats, right? So that plus half of that is what? What's half of two? It's one, right? So that plus half of that plus one. So you got one, two, three, right? If we have a dot. Half of, half of a two note, two beat note is one beat. So if you have three beats, if you have two beats like this, Half of that's one, so you're going to add one more beat to that. So half of that gets added. So you add one more beat, so it's the third beat. So you count one, two, three. So that's what this is. It's two beats with half again added. Half of two beats is one beat, right? So it's a three beat note. This one's not. That's a two beat note, right? So that's a one beat right there. Wait, so that would be three full beats though, right? It wouldn't this be is three full, right? It wouldn't be two beats and a half. It'd be three full beats, right? Yeah, because this is a two note. This is a two beat note. Yeah. Okay. Once and again. then the dot adds the third beat. You have, if you have a note that's two beats, yeah. what's half of that? One. One. So you're going to add one more to that. I thought one note like that was one beat. That's that's a two beat. That's a half note. It's two beats. What? Oh, it's hollow. Okay, so you're not saying that that's a quarter note. That's a half note. No, a quarter note okay. is one beat like this. I was confused. Okay, I got that's you. That's just one beat. Yeah, I forgot that the half note didn't have the fill in. A half note is a hollow one. Yeah. It's like this. That's gets two beats, right? Yeah. Half hollow. Half don't get two beats. Why? Yeah. Half note is hollow. That's what it's called. A quarter than a half. A quarter is like half a half. Oh, okay. So it's quarter. Quarter than half. Then. Here's here's basically how you break it down. You got this one. Half is two. That's a whole note. Half is two, yeah. And that gets four beats, right? Yeah. This one is a one with a stem, that's a half note. That gets two beats, right? Yeah. And this one is called a quarter note. It's one beat, right? So it takes four of those to make one of those. So if you put the quarter notes here, you've got it takes four of those to equal one of those. It takes two of those. Equal one of those. You got this? You got it. You played, right? Come here. So you understand rhythms a lot. Alright, so bear up to it. I gotta go through it. 
Okay. Question, Ozzy? I think I got it. Okay, so we got this rhythm here, and these are all one beat, right? That one's two beats, but you add a half again, so it's actually three beats, right? That's a dot. That one's two beats, right? So we count one, two, and our third beat is a quarter note, so there's B3 right there. So this one would sustain for two beats, and then you play B3, so it would go like this. That would be the tempo, so it would go la, 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 la. So it would sustain across the two beats, because it's a half note. So how would that one sound? The Which one? The one with the dot. La. Um. So if you got if you got a, a half note, here's three beats, right? It would sustain across all three. La. Here's three beats without it. La la la. Here's a whole note and a half and a quarter note. La la. Make it any sense? Okay, so now let's clap as I point, okay? I'm going to count one, two, three. Clap, 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 clap. No, no, just on one. Ready? One, two, three. Well, that was him. Try again. I hate this coffee. One, two, three. Party. I'm not going to take you guys fishing. <laughs> <laughs> You're going fast, really. Okay, let's do another one. We got here some three, so we still count threes, right? Yeah. Let's go real slow. We're gonna clap, ready? One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. finish this up soon next week we're going to do a uh, little more rhythms but I want everybody to be really comfortable with key signatures all right 